everybody. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I'm going to do a small piece today. I'm going to do a set of coasters, but I'll just um, show you the one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black background and I'm using the interference paints. A little while ago, I did one uh, just using the Pouring Masters, Ready to Pour, Special Effects, Violet Interference Pearl, the Blue Interference Pearl and the Gold Interference Pearl. Now these colours look white when you put them down, but when they dry, they dry coloured and they're really, really beautiful, lovely and shimmery. But today I'm also going to add to that the Deco Art Enchanted Shimmer Paints, so the violet, the gold and the blue, so sticking to the same colours, um, just to see how they go with it. The Deco Art's a little bit thicker, so I've actually um, just thinned them out a little bit by adding a small amount of the Gisonia Gloss Varnish, probably about two thirds paint, one third Gisonia. I just basically um, poured it in and got the consistency of where it just drizzles back beautifully into the cup there. Hopefully you can see. It's always hard to get the angle there, isn't it? So it's just a lovely drizzle into the cup. And um, we'll just see how that goes. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, but until I've done it, I won't really know. I have found recently with the Pouring Masters that if you use a thick base, it will crack when it's drying. Even when I've um, used the Torbmans with it, um, it was still um, to, to give it more of a binder. And I've also used the pouring medium that comes with the Pouring Masters um, and it's still found a bit cracked. But if I use it on a thin base, it dries perfectly. So that's something to remember with those. They do like a thinner base. So I'm just going to, without further ado, lay down my little black base here and I'll be back in a moment. So I'll just give this a little spin just to make sure that the paint isn't too thick on there because I don't want my paint to crack. So that looks good to go. I'll just burst some bubbles. And now I'll just pour the Pouring Master straight from the bottle. So this is the Violet Interference, but I'll do a radial pour where I've got each colour individually laid um, so that that way when it does dry, you'll be able to see each colour. They won't have all mixed together. So that was the Violet. Now I'm going to put the blue And now the Deco Art Violet. And the Deco Art, sorry, the Pouring Masters Gold. Deco Art Blue. It's so hard to see what the colours are. I'm getting myself a little bit mixed up here, but that's okay. And now a little more of the the violet that I put in the middle from Pouring Masters. So each of these three colours should be represented here. And now the Deco Art gold so I've got six colors should be the three of each brand there you can see the pouring masters gold is much more gold than the other one um, not that that matters and they'll probably look lovely when they're dry I'm sure just burst those bubbles so I'll just hit that with the heat embossing tool to burst the bubbles Now the cell activator I'm using today is just the 
Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. One to four. You can see that um, violet immediately reacting there. I've got a few more little bubbles here I can see, so I'll just use the pointy end of the skewer to break those up. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my little mini blower, well, smallest mini blower. So here we go. So I could see that the um, Pori Masters blew out much more easily. It's a bit thinner than the Deco Art, but that's not going to be a problem at all. Um, so the beauty of this is going to show up when it dries. So I'm just going to give that a light spin. I'm losing a lot of paint off there. I'll put far too much paint on there. Um, so the next one I'll do, I'll put less paint. So we'll just spin it. just draw a little bit of shape just using the pointy end of my skewer and it also helps to create some pretty lines in there as well you can certainly see the difference in the color you can see that violet and there's the blue and the gold's there very obviously And I had more of the violet than anything because it was in the center. I think when I do it again, I won't do a center. I'll just do the six colors and let them join together. Okay, so I will now bring you down for a close up, but I'm definitely going to um, show you the dried result at the end of this video because it's in the dried result that you will see the true beauty. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close up. So here we are coming down and looking at this beauty. Until you get that flash on there, you really can't see it. But look at that violet, and the blue, the other violet, the gold, beautiful. And I'm thinking that this is the um, deco art Violet there, you can really see that shimmer. It's gorgeous. I'll have to take more note of which one is which when I do the next one um, so that we can really see it. So once this dries, I will um, put that at the end of the video so that you can see how that did dry and um, we can make sure that the Pouring Masters didn't crack because um, there is quite a bit of paint on there, but I'm sure it's going to look lovely. Okay, see you back here soon. Okay, so here we are with the dried result. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, where I mix the two deco art and the um, pouring masters together. As you can see, just lovely and shimmery. Now I did notice just here um, that the pouring masters has cracked a little bit, and that's because it was on a thick base. It just does not like um, to be on a thick base, base the pouring masters. Um, so um, I'm going to do an experiment coming up where I'm going to use the Pouring Masters separate to the um, Deco Art and I'll use a thinner base and see how they go um, because I just love you know both of the paints so much that um, I want to be able to use them on all sorts of different things. So there you go guys, hopefully you enjoyed that one today. Um, as I say, got some lovely cells, it's just really, really pretty. 
Alrighty, so we'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.